Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Ariana and today we have another Ask Ariana. It's been a hot minute and I thought I would sit here one-on-one -on -one with you guys and answer a few of your questions. So I actually asked you guys on Instagram um, to just send me in some questions. So let's see what you guys have asked me. What is your ultimate dream job? Oh my goodness. Okay, so when I was younger, I really wanted to be a pastry chef. I was even like researching on schools that I could go to like in the States, even like culinary school. I think it's just because I really like to bake. So that was actually my dream job was to become a pastry chef. Never did I think I would do, be doing like YouTube videos or one minute videos and vlogs, but that's just another way of my creative outlet. Current makeup routine. I think you guys have been seeing this for the past year, but I'm obsessed with peachy tones. I love peach colored looks. I like coral, orangey tones. But lately, I've been getting into berry tones again, so kind of like richer, purpley, reddish, pink looks now. I think. What's your favorite color and room tour, please? Thanks, boy. I think my favorite color is pink and peach, but I love yellow. The wall on the other side here is yellow. And here's a little mini room tour. I just wanted to show you guys some stuff. Okay, so on my bed, we have this super cute watermelon pillow. And then my bedside table is one of my favorite spots. I'll zoom in on that for you. So what we have here is this really cute um, poster. It says, breathe in the beauty. And then we have this cute little lamp I got, the Journal Alone candle, this cute pearl handbag with my journal in it, and a key card Capri Sakura pen, this OK neon sign, which I think is so cute. It's just like, okay and some of my crystals because crystals are all about you know absorbing and giving good energy and feel calmer before I go to sleep and right next to it is my google wi-fi so there are parts in this house that don't get the best wi-fi so i think it's great that i just installed this one in recently and some parts of your house don't get the best wi-fi you know what i mean like you'd have to like go near wherever the modem is and just like wait for something to load so with this you can actually install multiple devices in your home so you can have one like in your bedroom one in your family room one in your office and it can be spread throughout the house so that you get a strong connection throughout the home so i think that is super duper cool someone asked me what inspired you to start making videos i want to but i'm kind of scared think about what you're scared of first uh is it judgment is it that you're not good enough honestly when i started doing it i did it just because i want to because it was fun uh, I didn't care if people made fun of me, like, like in the end, I did it because I wanted to do it. I think the first step to getting anything done is to just do it. You can plan and plan and plan, but if you don't do it, you'll never know. What's the most unusual thing that gave you inspiration for your vlog? Okay, um, I notice a lot of different weird stuff throughout the day and it just gives me an idea. But the one that I really liked recently was watching Billie Eilish's Bad Guy music video. And she's really weird to begin with, like she's cool, like she's not weird, but she's like unique. And I saw the music video and I thought, man, this girl is out there. I want to be able to do something like that too. So recently I came out with this video where I'm kind of recreating Billie Eilish's makeup look. Well, she's not really wearing makeup, but I did want to do some sort of a creative type of vlog that involved her as my inspiration. I think I've answered a few questions here in my room. I actually want to take you around the house. You know, the Wi-Fi connection is strong throughout my house. So let's answer a few more. I was uh, just receiving this question here on Instagram. It asked me, what made you want to start a career in this industry? So it's really interesting because I didn't really think about making it a career. It was just more like, I want to do this for fun. I like making videos. The more I think about it, I think it was just more like, I want to do something fun and I want to share stuff and create content. That was really the most important thing for me. It was my creative outlet. The one minute video started just because I wanted a quick, fast, and simple way to make tutorials for you guys to watch. Okay, now we are in the living room. We continue answering some questions. Okay, now I was asked about what do you do when you have a creative block? How do you get inspiration? So for me, going around the house helps. Like when I just have to work in just one place, I get kind of bored and as a creative, in order to get inspired, you gotta mix things up a little. It's like the last thing you want is like when you're researching and you're you know, trying to look for new ideas and you're looking at other videos. You don't wanna be in an area in your house that feels like you're restricted. You wanna be able to go wherever you want, research wherever you want. And for me, this is my favorite place to just kind of like lie down chill, watch some Netflix and stuff, and 
it's perfect. There's wonderful, nice open light in this area, so it really gets my creative juices flowing. Someone asked me, what's my worst public experience? Okay, well, it was my first time ever having to host in front of a bunch of people. And I memorized the script, I was like, so ready, I totally got this. The moment I got on there, I was like, <laughs> and I forgot what I was gonna say, and I fumbled, and I was like, um, um, and everyone could tell that I was struggling, and I was like, oh my god. But you know what, in the end, it was all in my head. It wasn't so bad. No one said anything. I don't think anyone cared. I don't think anyone remembers. Oh, Ariana, but it was a great learning experience, especially since it was just my first time hosting. Not so bad. So someone asked me, what is the weirdest thing that I Googled while I was like in the bathroom or like on the toilet? Yeah, I bring my phone with me sometimes to distract me. And you best believe that everywhere in this house, the Wi-Fi is popping, so I'm always like, <laughs> Like on my phone, but normally I don't Google things while I'm on the toilet. Sometimes I'm on my phone, but the weirdest thing that I've Googled is like the most random stuff. You know, that, like you're watching a documentary about a volcano and you're like, how old is the volcano? Or you're watching a movie and you're like, how tall is Chris Evans? And it's just random stuff like that. I think we can all admit to doing some random searches. So let me know in the comments what is your weirdest Google search. All right, I got another question that says, where do you love to do your work? Okay, so I actually wanna bring you to the place where I like to do my work. Aside from my bedroom, aside from right here, I'll bring you guys to the next place. So this is where I like to do my work from. This is our dining living room. It's right beside the kitchen, right beside the office. And I do a lot of my work here at this table, in this chair, with this computer, and I do a lot of my video editing here while eating. <laughs> As you guys can tell, I love to eat. So if you're ever feeling uninspired, just grab a snack and work. So when it comes to my creative process, it's more about like finding ideas that are relevant, but also creative. So I like to put my own twist on certain things if I'm recreating like a celebrity look or if I'm doing a how-to, like a tutorial. It's always about kind of putting my own twist and spin to it. And of course you can look online for like different suggestions or inspiration, but in the end, I think it's always best to make it your own. Anyway guys, I just want to say thank you so much for sending in all those questions and so much fun answering them. Don't forget also to check out pldthome.com slash fiber so you can check out all the PLDT Home Google Wi-Fi plans so you can do your work anywhere in the house without worrying about your internet like just dying on you or being in a dead spot because the last thing you want is to, you know, hold back your creativity just because you can't work where you like, you know? Anyway guys, if you have any more questions for me, you can leave it in the comments down below. Maybe we can do it for another Ask Ariana. Don't forget to also give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit the little bell button down below so you get a notification for every time that I post a video. Once again, I'm Ariana and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!